Hey, Dave, we like here covering base blocks, the big bar. Let's go ahead and set it all up, taking it out of the box. These are all the parts. And I do love the setup guide. It's bright and colorful. <sighs> so what we're going to do is extend the legs of the base. And then we're going to unscrew one portion right here, jamming the bar together so that you cover that hole to the left and then rescrew it. Next, we're going to stabilize everything by jamming this leg into these two holes here and then we're going to screw them on. So this is what it looks like so far. Next, we're going to connect this tube. Make sure that you align the holes correctly, which will take some time to do, and then just jam on the nuts and then place the next bar right on through again, connecting the holes. Now, I did find that the top bar is a little challenging to align. There's going to be a lot of going back and forth on it. Once you align the holes, we're going to be putting in these pins, and that'll lock the top of the bar in place. So there you go. That's what it looks like once it's all set on up. I'd say it's about the height of my garage door. Now, I do want to quickly compare the big bar to the base bar that I also own. I mean, you'll notice that the feet themselves pretty much line on up. So you're gonna get about the same width. It's just really in this height. These are both fully extended right now. And you can see that the base bar, I mean, it's short and I'm 6'1". So, you know, it, it is hard for me to get off the ground. But of course now with the big bar, I got plenty of room to go up and down on my arms, as well as of course, doing some ab exercises. The big bar is the perfect fit for me because I, I wanted to do some pull-ups and chin-ups in the garage and just, you know, stretch out my back from time to time. Thanks for watching this video. If you like more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.